Not far away from there is Forest Park, and you can get some fresh air and exercise a month from tomorrow. That's going to be on Saturday, June 24th, the annual Walk to Defeat ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease. And David Van Deriet is the vice president of investments at Raymond James, who invests his free time as an ALS volunteer. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming in. Good morning, John. Thank you for having me. You've been involved in this for a long time. Yeah, uh, our family began walking back in 2001. My dad died of ALS in 2000. That was the first walk to defeat ALS in St. Louis. And our family thought it was a good way to remember him, to honor his memory, and to try to do something about the cause. And we always say, keep fighting, keep swinging. Well, there is no cure. It's incurable at this point. Right. And, and your, your father, I, from what I understand, I read, he, he battled it for five years. That's right, right. He was diagnosed in 1997 when he was about 58 and passed away in 2000. Now, Dad had been in the Air Force, and he was a pilot. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, he flew a C-17 back in the, one of the first ones. The, yeah, one of the first Globe Masters. This is right. what they look like today. Right. And you call yourself the Globe Masters when you're walking <laughs> in the walk to defeat the That's ALS. right. That's right. It's a way to honor his memory. But we also, uh, through the years, we've had of other families who have lost people or family members from ALS, and they've joined with us. So while the team was originally formed in honor of my dad, we have about eight other families that are under the Globemaster oh, yeah. banner now. So you're so. as big as the plane now. That's right. Around. Yeah, <laughs> we need the plane to fly yeah. someplace. So you, everybody's invited to, to walk in right. this, mm -hmm. right? And, and you encourage people to have names for their groups and right. you know, create banners, and, and mm -hmm. every little bit helps. How do you raise money for this? Then? Well, we always encourage people to say, hey, we want everybody to be an active fundraiser, certainly. Right. But that doesn't mean you have to write a $100 check or a $50 check that you could ask 10 friends for $10. Those simple things. We, some of the teams have uh, bake sales, uh, all the, all the community-style events to raise money. And it's the number of walkers and the way money has been raised are equally varied. We'll, we'll have some information in just a second. I just want to mention the, the different types of ALS. ALS, it's always been explained to me, it either comes from the bottom or it comes top down. Yeah. And yeah, it's a simple way, but you know, it can be genetic, which is very, like a 2% cases are genetic. Right. Uh, exposure or trauma. And, and they're still looking. What, do, do you know what your father's condition was? Well, we believe his, his version was what they call sporadic. Okay. That it was not connected to another family member. Uh, that's the majority of the cases, but he was in the Air Force and the statistics show that anybody who served in the military regardless of the branch they served in or the time in which they served are twice as likely as the general public to get ALS. Did not know no that. one knows the reason for that, yeah. but it's, a, it's a, a large enough connection that the Defense Department uh, actually spends millions of dollars a year to try to determine why people in the military have a higher likelihood of getting ALS. James Vanderreet, thanks so much for joining us. I just want to put up, uh, it's walkstlouis at ALS.org. That's right. And also, here's a number you can call if you want to get involved. Who would want to get involved? It's good exercise. 314-876-7004. It is June 24th, you upper Muni parking lot, 8 a.m., and then the walk starts at 10. That's right. James, thanks so much for coming Thank in. you very much. I appreciate you. it. Thank you very Last much. Last time we talked, it was uh, virtual. That's right. COVID stuff. We're going to take a little break. We'll be right back.